Hello, my beautiful readers, and welcome back to another week of reading. We are going to continue enjoying fables, so I hope you've been enjoying them as much as I have. Fables are one of my favorite types of stories to read. Remember, a fable is a short story that usually uses animal characters to teach a moral or a lesson. And remember we talked about fable characteristics, just like we learned about the fairy tale characteristics. Do you remember what some of the characteristics could be? Think about the characters, think about the length. Hmm. Remember, fables have special characters, usually to animals, and the characters usually have human qualities like animals that are talking. Remember that fables are short. They're short stories. The purpose of fables, fables are made and read to teach readers a lesson or a moral. And remember, a moral is just a really fancy word for lesson. Fables are also made to entertain people like us. All right, let's dig into this moral and lesson. Remember, moral is just a fancy word for lesson, and we can figure out the moral or the lesson by paying close attention to the problem, the solution, the character traits, and sometimes that moral, you'll see that right at the bottom of the fable there. Just like we saw in Tortoise and the Hare, we saw that moral, slow and steady wins the race. But friends, there's more. I'm wondering, did you notice something else about the fables as you were reading? Maybe when you were reading Lion and the Mouse, maybe when you were reading Tortoise and the Hare, you noticed this, or maybe when you were reading Ant and the Grasshopper. I'm gonna show you, see if you can notice it now. Come on, take a look. Look at these things. You may have saw in the fables we've already read. What is going on? Whoa, what are these words? Did you notice it, friends? Your brain may have been like, what are these words? Well, friends, you may have noticed while you were reading that fables have really challenging vocabulary words. And it can be really hard for your brain to understand. Your brain may be going crazy in your head thinking, what is happening? In this fable, I can't understand these words. Well, fables do have very difficult vocabulary words. And it does make fables hard to understand. But don't worry, we never leave you hanging, second graders we have some tips. So check out these tips to help you understand fables and help you figure out these really tricky words. First, this one's simple, read fables slowly. Friends, reading is not a race, all right? You can read it slowly and think about your reading as you're reading it slowly. That's gonna help you. What? I said reading is not a race. Get this out of here. All right. Here's another tip, friends. Read fables more than one time. Friends, fables are short. Look at this fable here. It's only about one, two, three or four sentences long. That's short. You can read it over and over and over. With every time you read it, you're going to understand it better. Friends, another tip to help you understand fables is stop and think. I've been saying this all year long. Stop and think every few sentences. Create a movie in your head of what is happening in the fable. That's gonna help you really understand. You can also be a detective, be a word detective. We've done this in labs. Use context clues. Context clues is just a fancy way of saying, use the hints and clues. 
found within a sentence or a story to help you figure out these words, okay? Be a detective. Here's an example. You may see this word petrified and think, what does that mean? But we can look at the clues in the sentence to help us. Let's try. When it storms, David becomes petrified and hides under his bed. Oh, if someone's hiding under their bed, how do you think they're feeling? Probably scared. And I know people get scared during storms. So we can figure out this super tricky, fancy, difficult vocabulary word probably just means scared. All right, you're gonna do the same work as you enjoy and read these fables this week. The first fable you're gonna read is the hen and the apple tree. And then you're gonna answer this worksheet. You're gonna think about two tricky words, think about the moral and think about some character traits. And then you're gonna read the fox and the stork on, um, on Friday. And you're going to think about some character traits, another tricky word, and the moral again. All right, readers, when you're done with all of that, then you're going to read for 20 minutes in your reading spot. Every day, readers, this is going to help you become stronger and stronger readers. All right, have fun with the fables this week. We hope you enjoy them. Bye, readers.